on the 3rd of May, Zimbabwe joined the rest of the world in commemorating World Press Freedom Day. At an event held at Moto Republic in Harare, most practitioners in the media industry bemoaned the state of the current media laws in Zimbabwe. Current reports from Reporters Without Borders and others show that only 13% of the world's population enjoys a completely free press. That is where coverage of news is solid, the safety of journalists is guaranteed, state intrusion in media affairs is minimal, and the press is not subject to legal or economic pressures. I think when we think about press freedom, uh, we should also consider the citizen journalists and the risks they face are equally, uh, they're almost the same as you know, the journalists that are, that are trained in colleges. The ideal situation would be a situation where a journalist or any other person who can report is allowed to share information that is important and necessary. So in terms of press freedom, as long as there is no diversity, as long as we still have laws, as long as we still have conditions that ensure that journalists are aware of what they are reporting on, who they are reporting on and what the issue is, then we cannot um, clearly or relatively say that the media in Zimbabwe is free. This freedom is uh, sacrosanct. It's just like um, the right to food, the right to education, the right to what I have. I should have freedom uh, of speech and freedom after speech. Just to come to the issue of you know threats of clampdowns on on social media, yeah. It's, it's worrying, you know, in a peaceful country like, like Zimbabwe, it makes you worry because you think to yourself, what, would, what is the government's motivation, you know, what would be the government's motivation to introduce such harsh measures, you know, especially Chinese style. I mean, the Chinese have gone as far as introducing internet police. People will literally sit behind you when you're surfing the internet. Do we even afford such things? We have more things to worry about, really. We've got a number of laws that um, hinder uh, media freedom, um, encourage self-censorship, and also limit the number of players within the media industry, like the Broadcasting Services Act, for instance. I think uh, we still have a very, very big challenge. It was, uh, personally to me, the political situation in Zimbabwe has always determined the freedom of the press and given uh, the current political situation with the, which I think is quite uh, very volatile these days uh, it always creates a bad working environment uh, for journalists.